Hi, I'm going to talk with you about how to choose your oil brush. Now, there are a lot of different kinds to choose from. You have synthetic, natural, a blend of both, um, long hair, short hair. It's hard to pick out which one is best for you. I personally like a nice soft synthetic that's still stiff. So by soft, I mean that it is not a hog's bristle. Hog's bristle brushes are what traditional oil painters use, and these are great if you're doing plein air painting or you want to do impasto and you just want to get something quick and thick and textured with painterly brush strokes. These are perfect. If you do something more blended and smooth like I do, then you might want to go with more of a synthetic brush that's a little bit stiffer. These ones, the titaniums, are my favorite because they're not too expensive, but they last a really long time. I abuse my brushes like nobody's business. I've had this titanium brush for uh, probably like six months and I've completely destroyed it, but it's still workable. Not a lot of brushes can do that. If you're willing to spend a little bit more money, there are synthetic mongoose brushes. These are the Monarchs. Um, actually, this isn't a Skoda, but there's also Monarchs. And these work great. They're a little bit stiffer than the titaniums, so it pushes the paint a little bit more than absorbing it. If you want to get into the most beautiful, gorgeous brushes, um, we have the natural mongoose. Now this brush is probably about $30. It's a 24 filbert. But it's, I mean, you, you paint with this and you're blending like a dream. It's gorgeous and you can just touch it and it, it feels kind of like a makeup brush. They're beautiful. Um, if you want something even softer, there is sable brushes for oils that are a little bit stiffer. Now you can use watercolor brushes for oil brushes. I like to use them for my details and you can tell they're watercolor because the handle is shorter because traditionally watercolors paint much closer to their paper so they have a shorter handle and traditionally oil painters paint much farther away so they have to kind of stand back from their canvas and that's why the handles are longer. But that's the only difference. The hair sometimes is exactly the same. The only thing that I would be careful about with watercolor brushes is that they are meant to absorb a lot more and you don't necessarily want that in oils. You want something a little bit stiffer to push the paint around. But the best thing to do, especially if you're not sure what technique you're trying to get or what effect you're looking for, just try a couple different kinds. You don't have to buy everything all at once, but try one from this display, one from that display, and eventually you'll get the perfect setup for you. And along the way, you'll find out a bunch of new stuff about brushes. Have fun!